guys, so I'm gonna show you how you can create your own VIP transition. I was actually looking forward to this one because I think this one is actually kind of interesting. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right in. So yeah, I already have the two clips on my timeline. This one and this one right here. And now I'm gonna show you how to do a whip transition. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do is create a new adjustment layer. And now you wanna click on your timeline, hit the down arrow key to move to the end of the uh, first clip. Next you wanna hit shift and the left arrow key about two times to move 10 frames to the left. Next you wanna pull your adjustment layer and drop it where um, your playhead is. Next you wanna hit shift and the right arrow key about three times to move um, 15 frames to the right. Next you wanna hit control plus K, split the adjustment layer, delete the extra part, okay. Now you wanna go into your effects panel. Um, as you can see, I, I already have a preset for whip transition. Yeah, I created a preset. But today I'm gonna to show you step by step how you can do it. So, search up offset. And now you wanna drag this effect onto the adjustment layer. Next, you wanna search up directional blur. And again, you wanna um, drag this onto your clip, which in this case is the adjustment layer. Now you want to go to um, the offset uh, tab in your effects control panel, move to the starting of the adjustment layer, click on the watch icon next to shift center 2 in the offset tab. Next you want to move a few frames forward, change the value of this to minus 960 instead of 960 and you want to drag this frame to the end of your adjustment layer. As you can see, it basically adds some horizontal movement to the shot and instead of leaving a blank space wherever the frame ends it just repeats the frame again like this okay so that's great now you want to go to directional blur now you want to change the value of direction to 90 degrees next you want to hit the watch icon next to blur length and you want to pull this keyframe to the beginning of the clip now you want to press the down arrow key to move to the end of the first clip and you want to change the value of blur length to around 300 or something. Next you want to move a few frames forward and change the value of blur length to zero again and drag this keyframe to the end of the clip. So that gives us a decent whip transition already but you know what let's just tweak it a bit more. So you want to go ahead and click on this keyframe and go to temporal interpolation and choose these out. And then for the last keyframe, you wanna right click, go to temporal interpolation again, and choose ease in. The first keyframe for blur length, ease out. And the last keyframe, ease in. So this just adds a bit of smoothness to our effect. Now you wanna go to your effects panel and search for cross dissolve. And then add it these two clips right here. You want to change the length to something like on 10 frames. Yeah, 10 frames would be good. Now, again, this is just going to blend the two shots together. It's just going to sell this transition better. So yeah, that's it. Now let's take a look at what we've done. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you like and subscribe and watch out for the next one.